Hello, my name is Rachel Grothaus with Nebraska Woody Florals Group and today I'll be talking about how to create unique and fun wedding designs using cut branches from Nebraska Woody Floral such as this red twig dogwood that you see next to me. So to begin with, the items that you will need to create this design or one similar to it um, is some kind of um, great container like this black tin um, cube in front of me as well as florist foam which you will secure your branches into. Um, this is great um, basil reindeer moss, um, actually spring green reindeer moss, and um, as well as the scale holder which um, you are able to create um, this carnation pomander out of. So I've already created this pomander using um, hypericum berry and carnations um, and the gala holder. As you can see, it gives it a nice full look and becomes a lot larger. Um, so you want to consider that when you are um, choosing your container. You want a container that's going to be the right proportion to your um, pomander. Um, the next step in the process is to begin your topiary and you will want to fill your container with the florist foam and then cover it using, you can use anything from leaves, flowers, um, this is a really quick and easy way um, just to use some of this reindeer moss on top. And you'll want to make sure that your branches are pushed all the way down into the container so you have a nice and sturdy frame um, to place your pomander into. Um, the next step is to kind of clean up the branches that you see these small laterals on the dogwood. You just want to clip those off. It just gives it a cleaner, um, cleaner look to your design. And then you can just take your pomander and kind of hold it up and decide what height you would like your design to be at. And go ahead and trim your branches off all one height. The great thing about using branches in wedding design is there's so many different ways that you can use them. You can use them kind of straight up in a design like this. Um, you can cut them all off. You can um, bend, them, bend them and make wreaths out of them or arches. Um, so once again, you'll see that um, the branches are actually becoming part of your mechanics for this design. It's going to be what is holding up um, the flowers in this design. Um, so once you have all of your branches um, chop down to the right height. You will want to um, make sure they're all kind of aligned correctly. They're not too twisted. And we'll, we will start by placing the pomander in the middle and kind of working the branches around to cover the handle of the gala holder. This is really fun because um, you can make a pomander for a little flower girl and um, you know have a similar um, pomander used at the wedding at the centerpiece so it can help tie everything everything together and then once you have these around the gala holder you'll just want to take some um, standard florist wire and make sure that you have this secured at the top so nothing is tempted to fall over. And then the next step is to just kind of fill in. Um, if you still, if you can see it's a spot where you have um, the gala holder showing still, you can um, break off some more, cut some more branches down and kind of place them where you need them to be in order to hide the gala holder. I'll put one over here. Just use a little more wire. And it is a good idea to try to use as few sticks as possible. You don't want your um, the stem of your topiary to be too wide. And you can also put a piece of wire down 
at the bottom as well if you would like to tighten this up just a little bit. So as you can see, um, it's important when you're working on a design um, <clears throat> to take a step back and um, look at your design from a few feet away, which I just did and realized that my proportions were just a little out of scale. So I simply um, took the pomander out and cut down the branches just a little bit more in order to give me the right height for this topiary. And once you get your gala holder secured in here, um, there are endless possibilities. You can um, continue to add um, things to your pomander. Um, even, you can even add um, <clears throat> the tips of your dogwood. And give it a little more full look, bring, um, you kind of use that dogwood in a really different way. Make, give your pomander a fun, kind of funky look to it. And then you can start to add finishing touches. Um, a great way to help secure the stem of your topiary is just by taking a nice pretty ribbon. And you can start from the top to hide your wire. you can create just a nice little finishing touch to your design. The sheer ribbon works great because you still get the color from the dogwood showing through. And now um, we end up with a great little centerpiece to use um, on a table at a wedding reception or even um, a guest book table or something like that. Um, as you can see, I wrapped the ribbon, gave it a nice corset um, wrap to um, allow you to see, still see the dogwood. Um, and you can leave a bit of ribbon and kind of trail it around the moss and give it a nice little touch at the end. And as you can see, we end up with um, a great design to use at a table for a wedding reception or a guest book table, anything like that really. Um, it's a great um, fun way to use uh, branches, kind of a different way um, instead of doing the big um, tall vase on a table using branches. This is um, kind of a fun different way um, that you can think about designing with Nebraska Woody Florals. Thanks a lot for joining me today for our talk about wedding design. I hope you'll stick around um, as we move forward to holiday design.